Oh, your cat doesn't need all that fancy shit. Well, uh, it says here, cats are, you know... Well, I mean, it, if you're kind of a, a redneck dumbass, uh, like Darren is, you know, you used to farm cats, and, you know, farm cats, uh, you never really get attached to them because they're not, they're not around very long. You might have a litter of, like, seven or eight of them, and by the next year, then none of them might be alive. Yeah. Because, you know, they're getting picked off by foxes and other animals like that. I'm a redneck. I probably look like one. Probably got a little sunburn on my neck, too, but that's not what rednecks are. Rednecks are Scottish immigrants originally, and they wore red scarves around their necks uh, during the Civil War so they could identify each other on each side of the North and South so they wouldn't shoot at the Scottish because they were forced into the war depending on what port they came in. Irish people were treated the same, and that's where the term redneck comes from. But... It's used for country folk a lot. So, you know, you call me redneck, that's all right. Because a, re a redneck is a lot better than what you are, Corky. What are you? Oh, a felon. That's right. You're a felon. And a lol's cow. To boot. So, call me a redneck all day long. At least I'm not a felon or a lol's cow. <laughs> so, anyway, let's watch this again. I'm going to tell you some stuff. Who the fuck complains about other people buying it? Cat shit. Say, oh, your cat doesn't need all that fancy shit. Well, uh, it says here, cats are, you know. Well, I mean, it, if you're kind of a, a redneck dumbass, uh, like Darren is, you know, you used to farm cats, and you know, farm cats, uh, you never really get attached to them because they're not, they're not around very long. You might have a litter of like seven or eight of them, and by the next year, then none of them might be alive because, you know, they're getting picked off by foxes and other animals like that. Now I have cats. I have two, and many people see in my video. In fact, I'm going to show you them right now. This is Yoan, and she's a tabby gray, but don't... She's a wild, wild kitty. And that is Yomer. He's more of a house kitty than his sister. But both of my cats are farm cats. They take care of rodents, but more important than that, they take care of snakes. That's why you have cats when you live in the deep south. Because snakes, yes, they're buddy. This guy, he want to take care of snakes, Thor. He chases the kitties all day long. Him chases them, Thor does. You can't see him. Let me get it. Get up here, Thor. Come on. You want to be the ham. He wants to be a YouTube. Get up here. Come on. Jump up. Then hell with it. You didn't get to see Thor. But he's in some of my videos. Watch some of my videos on my other channel and you'll see Thor. But let me get back to what I was thinking about. Or my cats. See, I have two cats. One's more of a homebody. But he spends a lot of time outside. Especially lately. He don't really care for Thor. Yo, and she, she teases Thor. She gets Thor to chase her. And she outruns him and jumps the fence where Thor can't go over. And, you know, um, they hang out in my rabbitry quite a bit. The cats do. Um, but, you know, foxes and other things don't kill them. These cats are just as much a part of the family as my dogs are. And the cats love the hell out of me. I'm not even a cat person. I got the cats. My wife's a cat person, supposedly. And I'm the dog person. But animals just love me. Cats or dogs. Rabbits. Hopefully geese. <laughs> I don't want those geese to not like me. Because they can be mean. But um, anyway. Um, I live in the country. And you can call me redneck if you want. I don't, I don't use that term. I don't refer to myself as one of those. Um, all my neighbors are black. If I went around calling myself a redneck... You know, that mean, redneck means a lot of different things to different people, so I'm just who I am. I'm just Darren, uh, the guy who's getting bit by his wife's dog. Ow! Ow! Why are you biting, Daddy? You shouldn't bite, Daddy. Come here. Come on. Ah! Get up here. Get up here, buddy. Get up here, you little piece of poopy. <laughs> okay, this is Thor. 
And Dory's a good boy. He is. He is. He likes his daddy because he helps daddy do farm chores. He's right out there with me all the time. He goes. He goes in with the turkeys. And he chases the chickens. And he chases the kitties. And he tries to chase the ducks and geese, but I don't let him. But he's a good boy. You better go with mom. She's going to get eggs. Go with mama. Go mama. So that was Thor. And Thor's a good dog. But we haven't lost any cats to... We have coyotes around here. We have foxes and bobcats. But our cats are smart. And, you know, if your cat gets killed by one of them, you just get another cat until you get smart enough cats that know to stay away from them. My cats go into the... Freezing up there. My cats go into the woods. Especially Yoan. She brings back... Uh, dead animals sometimes one time she or twice twice she brought back dead rabbits and left and one time she left it in the rabbit tree because she thought well, that's where rabbits go so she brought this dead rabbit to put it in the rabbit tree and i got rid of it right away because who knows what kind of diseases on that and give my rabbits diseases but um anyway um hawks but, but our cats are smart you're sitting there traveling with your cat because you don't know cats well enough. I've gone on plenty of vacations owning cats. The current cats I have now, I've gone on at least two cruises while I've had those cats. Maybe and maybe more than that, I don't know. Two for sure. And guess what? Maybe even three. I think three. Three cruises that I've been on since I've had these cats. I didn't take my cats with me. You can't take your cat on a cruise. All you have to do if you... You didn't have to bring your cat with you unless you wanted to. Your cat didn't need to go. Because all you have to do is put a bunch of food out for them and water and they're fine. Dogs, are, on the other hand, you can't do that with them. You can't leave a bunch of extra food and hope the dogs will be all right. The dogs will eat all their food the first day, be overstuffed, and then they'll starve the rest of the time you're gone. Cats aren't like that. Cats are smarter to eat as much as they need and so you give them enough to last a week and dry food don't do it with canned food get the dry food out for them leave plenty of water extra bowls of water out for them and they'd be fine while you were gone and you come back after three or four days your cat would be fine miss you probably come up and love on you but your cat wouldn't would been totally fine if you left your cat at home that proves that you don't know that much about cats you definitely don't know about country living and people having cats in the country. You don't know anything. So why do you talk about shit you don't know? You just make shit up in your head because you're all, this is the way it probably is. And so somehow that becomes facts in your mind. Because you don't know shit. I have farm cats, but they're also house cats. They're also part of the family. I take care of them and love on them just as much as you do your cat, Corky. So why don't you, you know... I hope you and Sabella get in a big fight and start some drama because that'll be funny. I wouldn't have hoped that for you because I know vacations can bring out the worst in people, especially long road trips. I'm hoping it does because, you know, I'm tired of you running your mouth. All right, you all have a good day and a better tomorrow.